Hello guys, Frozen Aviox here, and today I'm coming at you with another tutorial. This one, it's an interesting little tutorial here. Ah, you ever have that problem where, you know you have crappy internet like me, you have to use satellite or some crap like that, because that's the only thing available? Well, you connect your phone through a hotspot, or you tether it with a USB cable. You ever have that problem where when you tether it, your computer locks up, and even sometimes your phone will lock up. Like, you can't open this page right here. It, Windows just says, hell no, I'm not going to do that. Well, I got a little fix for you here that I found. Alright, let's just go to the trusty old cable. Let's plug in our phone real quick. Just got to get the damn cable ready. Cable doesn't like me too much for some reason. Alright. So, yep, there it goes, telling me my device is being plugged in. Okay, let's go to our hotspot settings on the phone. I don't have to show this part because, you know, it's different for every phone. Alright, let's do USB tethering. Gotta wait for this to activate. I know, I'm so professional, aren't I? Oh, come on. Te let me tether my phone. Tethering. Alright, here we go. Alright, now it's going to pop up here. Ethernet 3. Yes. But notice how my computer isn't freezing, locking up, or any of that nonsense. I can exit out of all this, it shows it right here, open this back up, no trouble. Now here's how you fix that little problem. Alright, what you want to do is you want to go up here, right click, go down to device manager, or however you open device manager on your version of Windows. Let's pull this up here. Right, under your network adapters, you want to find this right here. It'll be some form of this. It will always say NDIS based internet sharing device. You want to right click that, go to properties, go to the driver, and hit update driver. Now you can search automatically and it might find an update, but usually it will not. Here's what fixed it for me. Browse my computer. Let me pick from a list. You want to un uncheck the show compatible hardware. Okay, you want to scroll down here. Let's get down on until you find Microsoft. And then right here, <clears throat> these two. This is what I selected. Remote NDIS compatible device. Some people have shown that this one fixes it. Others say installing the latest version of this fixes it. But for me, what fixed it is clicking remote NDIS compatible device then it'll warn you that it's not recommended but it's from Microsoft come on and then it'll successfully update close this out and just to be safe now I don't think you want to scan for new hardware changes that might redo rewrite what you just did but you do this boom you are done and you shouldn't have any more freezing problems at all you should be able to open this right up no trouble but I don't even know why this happens from what I heard uh, Microsoft accidentally well not accidentally I mean it's Microsoft they break stuff all the time sadly but what I heard is they install the wrong version for your hotspot or a very out-of-date version so this puts the most up-to-date version on there and fixes it and it'll actually run properly and I tested this out with some Rocket League earlier, and I had much less lag spikes than I was having before. It was actually working as intended. Alright guys, but if this doesn't work, choose the option right above it when you go to install the driver, the other NDI, wait, NDIS device, and that should fix it. Alright. Let me know if this helped you guys. I really hope it did. I've been looking for this for a long time. Finally found a solution. Thought I'd share it with everybody. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for more tutorials on random stuff. 
and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.